hello, oh, oh, it's the oh, fourth oh, act. Oh, 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 I'm oh, Alex oh, oh, and that's I, Phil. I, I, I'm Phil. And uh, <laughs> the old guard is on Netflix and it's official. Charlie Theron has now auditioned for Marvel. Whatever it takes. 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 It's a story about four immortal people who are being hunted and so they have to defend themselves and so we're gonna talk about it. Whatever it takes. Ground rules. We each have three points from now on to take turns going back and forth. If we agree with each other, we get a little uh, Mario one up mushroom. Bonus life. If we disagree, we get shot and die. <laughs> I'll start. I really like the character Charlie Theron uh, was building. I, I liked the existential quandary that she was. She found herself in. Thought it was quite the quandary. Mom. She quandered a lot. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. It's especially relatable for anybody today too though because of every things are there's a lot of difficult stuff right now to accept in the world. And to've been about. around for so long <laughs> and to still have to see that it's I can Well, she's been around for centuries. She never tells her age. A woman never reveals her age. <laughs> it gets a little lost for me because I feel her despair in the beginning. Like I feel like she like, she's so done with it. But then she like takes upon that other girl. It's like, well why are you why are you she's, taking her on her wing? She's a reluctant mentor. She has a good moral compass, but it's just yeah. centuries of beat beaten down. Sure, yeah. It's you it's know? It, it's frustration. So I, I, I agree. It. I agree. It was well done. You can't die. You get up. <laughs> Can you please not do that again? The old guard is comprised of four people that have been around for centuries, but I want to make a case that I don't feel like they have good chemistry. I think they, they develop chemistry later on as the movie goes, but I think that's just from filming, just being with each other 12 hours a day on set. It just it doesn't seem like it flows. The conversations and their interactions with each other don't seem very genuine, to be honest. I don't think that. I think uh, we're, I'm inevitably going to compare this to Extraction, which was Netflix's last action movie. What? One. Where that had great action but failed in its characters for me, I feel like this movie did a really good job taking its time and developing these characters. I felt the chemistry, especially between Nikki and Joe, they were together. I think they were really good together. I really believed that chemistry. My guy Booker, his character's name, he was in the Mustang. He's a great actor in that. I liked his personal backstory about him having a family and then not working out, and I think their individual backstories work as character development, but together they just they fall flat. I found them cohesive. <laughs> I just to the point I did, sorry, to the point where when he double crossed her, I felt betrayed. That wasn't that hard for me to watch. <laughs> Where I said the characters in this movie were really well fleshed out throughout the whole course of the movie, it is an action movie. And I yes. felt like on the action side of things, it was a little bit underwhelming. Either there wasn't enough of it, it was few and far between, or when it was happening, it was a lot of wasn't uh, that exciting to close, watch. Close combat scenes, nothing yeah. like a big set piece like Six Underground. The bar is really high these days with John Ye Wick. Yeah, I mean, anatomic blonde. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, tight quarters. It just, it was a lot of like the same moves. It didn't I feel think, anything exciting. I think the moves are good. I think chore choreograph wise, Charlie Stern really gives it her all. And I think that was well done. But I think- Not enough to save every action I think though. the way it was shot and that the way there was just wasn't that much of it. There were no bold moves is what I'm saying. Nothing that stood out. So I agree. Yeah. I agree. Usually when you feel something during a movie, you connect to the actor's performance or the score. Those are the two things that I think bring up the most emotion in someone. This, we already talked with characters. The score is there. But it pretty much gets sidelined to just becoming a nice playlist. It's a soundtrack, <laughs> a, basically. A soundtrack. Yeah. It doesn't work in this because yeah. the songs that are being <laughs> selected and played for us, for our ears, are literally described what the actor or actress is doing on camera. Whatever it takes. It's really off-putting. Well, you, can, you can do that in a fun way, like in Guardians, but in this yes. movie it was so, it felt random and it felt like it, these are these modern day songs and it's these ancient group of crusaders. A, 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 yeah, a century old story. And it just didn't fit to the desired effect, I don't well, think. Like 58 minutes is a song and it feels like a song that would like at, be at the end of the episode. It's like tune in next week to see what happens and like they're driving off, but there's still a whole hour of the movie left. <laughs> then there's like a, a marshmallow DJ Khaled song. Nah, I'm so used to shit. the movie's over with, but there's a whole other like 10 I don't minutes. I think that's a side effect because you love Scrubs so much. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> I agree though. I can't do this all on my own. No, I know. I'm no Superman. I'm no Superman. Why can't they all just get along? 
Oh, that's an Alex point. Great. <laughs> this is a real observation here. Who they all, gets along? They all want the same thing, no? Who? They want to make the world a better place, right? This guy wants to study them to try and cure cancer, right? Why can't they help with that? Why can't he just be nice about it? Because the methods they want to do it, him? how they want to go about doing it is wrong. But, is they different. but they didn't even ask first. They could have been like, hey, do you think you could just donate some of your like, like skin cells? It's about other things, too. It's about him being top I'm of the, saying, the pharmaceutical food yes, chain. Yes, he turned into big cartoonish bad guy by the end. But he didn't even ask. Let me ask you one question. Gun to your head, who think make better doctors? The plot of this movie centers around a fifth immortal joining them, right? A new yeah. person to the group, mm -hmm. right? Played by Kiki Lane. Her name is Niall in the film. I don't really think that she is a good fit. I not not for the group. I just I don't think that her performance in this is that great. I don't know if it's not being able to do action that well, but she just gives she off this very wooden performance. The fight scene between her and Charlie Theron was good, so she can do it. But just her dialogue or interaction with Charlie Theron, she was all for when she's like. I'M ONE OF THEM! I hate this. It's supposed to be loaded. I think that you probably haven't seen If Beale Street Could Talk, but she's literally the main character in that movie. I have not seen that and movie. And she gives a very it. moving performance. You never have taken call this case. Call him Fani. Excuse me? When you call him Alonzo, I see the judge, and the bars, and the chains, and the... I have not seen so, that movie. I would be open to watching it, but in this she movie... She does have acting chops, and she can do action. Yeah, it seems like she, her acting wants to come through this. It just I, doesn't land. I believe... No, I think it does. I think she feels like an outcast. She's not anything like these centuries-old people. She's just a young woman trying to figure out what to do. I think that worked to the movie's benefit. It just didn't seem to really click with Charlie... No, stop! I actually haven't seen a feel streak at all. <laughs> it's a double pleasure to deceive the deceiver. Well played. You bitch. I've seen clips though. <laughs> there you have it, that's our score. Three magic mushrooms and three dice. That's not fair. <laughs> I was actually pleasantly surprised by this movie. I know my points were mostly negative, but I would recommend this movie. I liked it, I think it's a good watch. I'd be down for a sequel. Same. I wanna see the world build. We have some extra things we wanna say, so let's start our rattle off points. Did she just stop a bullet with the ax? How did she do that? She's not like- I don't care. <laughs> the circle axe barely get any use. She's at like twice. If you like stories about age-old guardians, you can check out our guardians video. What are any of these heroes doing, Phil? They're trying to kick ass. They suck. Shameless Don't watch plug. the movie, just watch our video. When they throw her in the chamber and throw her down in the ocean, and she's gonna keep dying, that is horrific. You know that they, they did that with Bootstrap Bill and uh, Back Stop. to the Caribbean. <laughs> Ended up on the bottom of the ocean, unable to move. Unable to die, Jack. The world they set up in this is kind of so interesting. I almost be down for a prequel too. Bad guy went full on Wonder Woman bad guy in the end. Bitch, I will kill her. I will destroy you. I have to talk about Hancock because it's my favorite <laughs> film. Charlie Theron is in Hancock. She's in this. She's yeah. immortal in Hancock, and she's immortal in this. Parallels. Uh, that's actually kind of interesting. <laughs> I have put up with your bullshit for the last 3,000 years, and I am done! I don't know what you're talking about. Done. That is it for this act. Before we go, we have an announcement, mate, though. If you notice on the channel in the past couple months, we've been trying different videos, new videos. We did Troll 2, uh, Guardians, and Avatar The Last Airbender as a random recap. Some really fun videos. Very long, though. Takes a lot of work Very to shoot exhausting. and edit. But we think it's some of our best videos, and Definitely. we did some scene recreations, Titanic and Reservoir Dogs point that we're trying to make is we're trying to offer quality over quantity. So when you look at this channel, you may not see a new video every week. Try and definitely at least bi-weekly, but what may end up happening is maybe one week off, then two weeks. Then one week, and then two weeks of videos. What we know we're doing is, two weeks from now, we're gonna be giving you our suggestions on what Netflix movies you can watch. Just some of our favorite movies, our personal choices yes. for what you can watch. Because let's face it, we all know that the country's gonna go down on lockdown again. Yeah. So thank you to anybody who's been watching us. We will be back in full swing, probably around the time that the new James Bond movie is being released. If it's actually gonna get released. We're going to, we're, you can tell everybody about us. We're gonna launch a Patreon, try to get some new Twitter followers. We're yep. gonna do everything around around that. We're going on a national tour. And until then, thank you, thank you for watching us. Yes, thank, thank you for you sticking so with us. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Or don't. Because you have free will. free will. I feel like we should be better at that by now. What the fuck did you hit? Ah, oh, no, it just feels like you're hitting me in the neck. Uh -huh. <laughs>